Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I come in here for a hot chocolate and there was black coffee on the menu. I went, what about white coffee? Yeah? All lattes matter. Oh my God, this guy's out of order. And she goes, oh, do you want a French pastry with that? I said, French pastries, what's next? Swahili sandwiches? <laughs> I want British food for British people, do you know what I mean? This is ridiculous. So what you say something? Yeah, when she brought the knife over for me, for me sausage, I need to put my hands up out of, out of reflex, do you know what I mean? Because you know what I am like, like. Me, I should yeah. say something. You've got something to say, mate? Yeah, um... <laughs> um... You started rapping now. <laughs> it's quite chilly in here, isn't it? I might ask them to, uh... Yeah, it is a bit chilly, actually. <laughs> Oi, look. Hot chocolate, cold chocolate. <laughs> so yeah, you know, I'll have to White Christmas song. There's a reason it's called White Christmas, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's not it's not Bane Christmas, is it? It's something different. We've all been here. The Mexican standoff of opinions. What Mexicans? You know what you want to say and you know how to articulate yourself, but when the moment comes to pull the trigger. Oh no, please, mate, I've got wives and kids. You bottle it. You shrivel up like a willy in cold weather and you spend the rest of the day thinking what you shoulda, woulda, coulda said. Well, guess what? Not today, my friend. Well, Steve, what's the number for 999, mate? You've got a high hostage situation here. Yeah, being held at gunpoint. Think it's what I've said about the lattes. For years, we've been told to hold our tongue. Well, guess what, society? The only thing you're going to be holding today is these big brown nuts. Well, medium-sized nuts, but you get the point. I thought they would have been quite big. You know what I say about you lot? <laughs> Never mind. Think about it. We're all born different. Some of us are born with green eyes, some of us are born with freckles, some of us are born with the eyebrows of an angry bird. But one thing we all have in common is a sense of right and wrong, a sense of justice and injustice, a moral I compass. I says Brexit means Brexit. And that compass can be triggered by loads of things. Uh, racism, sexism, people who wear crocs. But the thing is, we all feel when something's wrong. And when that internal spidey sense goes off, when you get that feeling, are you going to grab your suit and swing into action? Or are you just going to sit there? Yeah, you know, because of Bridget, does that mean we ain't got going to have turkey at the Christmas dinner? Like an unseasoned lump of self-loathing. Yeah, Watching the event go over and over again in your head like some sort of TikTok sent from Satan. The thing is, no matter how many of them they let in here, it's always going to be England. OK. England. <sighs> Take this specimen over here. Now, of course, he's entitled to his own opinion, but what he's saying stinks, and no-one's contesting it. It's like going out with your friend for lunch, and your mate's got mayo chilling on his top lip. Of course, it's easier for you not to say anything and save yourself the hassle of speaking up, but then you just end up seeing more of what you don't want to, and they end up looking like they've just come off the set of a Pornhub shoot. Look, the worst that can happen is they'll disagree. So if you've got something worth saying, say it with chest. <laughs> All right, I'll speak to you later then, Steve. Yeah. <clears throat> Mate, you are being so unbelievably ignorant right now. Everyone in here is just trying to enjoy their breakfast and you're making everyone feel super uncomfortable. No, I ain't. I'm just telling the truth. I'm saying it as it is. No, the truth is you need some lip balm, yeah? If you're going to start a race war, at least moisturise first. Right, listen. Immigrants are ruining this country and this cafe. From now on, I'm getting British coffee from British cafes. OK, cool. Well, there's a pret a manger down the road. Oh, is there? Oh, all right. Cheers, mate. You're one of the good ones. Now, that's what I call saying it with chest. Oh, excuse me, could I get a coffee, please? Yeah, a uh, black one.